Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor. In this section, we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to have word problems. We're going to have problems that involve uh, adding fractions, word problems that involve adding fractions. And I'm really excited about teaching the next few sections of the class dealing with adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing fractions because to be honest with you fractions give a lot of people problems okay and I have a lot of examples in this section on purpose to reinforce things fractions give a lot of people what number it is okay I just need them to be the same because you cannot add fractions unless the bottom number is the same so I can multiply any fraction by by one and I can multiply this fraction by by one I just chose these numbers to be 3 over 3 and 4 over 4 so that the bottom number would be 12. That's all I was doing. I wanted to multiply this by 3 and I wanted to multiply this by 4 and so I did 3 over 3 and 4 over 4 uh, to make these bottom numbers 12 and then you have to do the multiplication to make it to make it legal. So what I'm getting at here okay in a, in a real nutshell is this problem here is exactly the same as this one. This addition, it's exactly the same thing. This 3 out of 12 is exactly the same amount of, of uh, pie or water or whatever it is you're talking about as 1 fourth. 1 fourth and 3 twelfths look different, but they're exactly the same because I've shown you they're the same by drawing it. Okay? And looking at 4 twelfths, you, you get the same idea here. You have here's 4 pieces, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 and 12. There's 12 pieces and now I have four pieces which is one, two, three, four. And my drawing isn't to scale. You see it's a little bit more than a anymore because the only number that goes into one is one and two divided by one is two and so this is totally simplified. You can't go anymore. Okay? If you had something like five tenths you would simplify that by saying what can I divide into the top and the bottom to make this thing simpler and go an even number of times. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5, the same number, 5, is 2. So I get 1 half. Okay? So you can continue simplifying these things as long as you know what to do. So the answer is 3 and a half pounds, okay? which is what you want to do on your test. So you do that by dividing. 14 divided by 4 gives you 3 with a remainder of 2, because 3 times 4 is 12, the difference between 12 and 14 is 2, 2 fourths. You've got to keep that fourths here, here. And then you just simplify the 2 fourths into the, uh, the 1 half, just like that. Okay, the next problem says, if you drive 6 and 3 eighths miles to pick up a friend, and then drive 4 and a quarter miles to the store, how far do you drive? So you know you're going to have to add these two things together because you're driving six and three eighths miles uh, to pick up a friend, and then from there driving four and a quarter miles to the by one. So in this case, I pick two over two because that gives me a bottom number of eight. I do the multiplication and then I do the addition. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more complicated, but this is it. I mean, if you understand this, and by watching this a few times, I think you will. You're you're going to be doing good. The next problem says a father is five and seven eighths feet tall. His son is three and a half feet tall. If the son stands on the shoulders of the father, how tall are they put together? So you know you're going to have to add because it says how tall are they put together with three eighths left over because it goes one time starting with eight, nine, ten, eleven. That leaves me three. The difference between eight and eleven is three. So three eighths. So in the end, 8 plus 1 and 3 eighths is going to be 9 and 3 eighths because I can, eight, I can add these whole numbers together and I just keep my fraction. So if I have a father that stands 5 and 7 eighths feet and I have a son that stands 3 and a half feet and I add them together, they're going to stand a total of 9 and 3 eighths feet tall. And I just add the whole numbers and then I add the fraction separately. 